In mathematics, the quaternions are a number system that extends the complex numbers. They were first described by Irish mathematician William Rowan Hamilton in 1843 and applied to mechanics in three-dimensional space. A feature of quaternions is that multiplication of two quaternions is noncommutative. Hamilton defined a quaternion as the quotient of two directed lines in a three-dimensional space or equivalently as the quotient of two vectors. Quaternions are generally represented in the form a plus b i plus c j plus D K display style a plus B math BF I plus C math BF J plus D math BF K where a B C and D are real numbers and I J and K are the fundamental quaternion units Quaternions find uses in both pure and applied mathematics, in particular for calculations involving three-dimensional rotations such as in three-dimensional computer graphics, computer vision, and crystallographic texture analysis. In practical applications, they can be used alongside other methods, such as Euler angles and rotation matrices, or as an alternative to them, depending on the application. In modern mathematical language, quaternions form a four-dimensional associative normed division algebra over the real numbers, and therefore also a domain. In fact, the quaternions were the first noncommutative division algebra to be discovered. The algebra of quaternions is often denoted by H for Hamilton, or in blackboard bold by H style Math B H Unicode U plus two hundred and ten D it can also be given by the Clifford algebra classifications C0, 2, CO3, 0. The algebra holds a special place in analysis since, according to the Frobenius theorem, it is one of only two finite dimensional division rings containing the real numbers as a proper subring, the other being the complex numbers. These rings are also Euclidean Hurwitz algebras, of which quaternions are the largest associative algebra. Further extending the quaternions yields the non-associative octonions, which is the last normed division algebra over the reals the extension of the octonions, sedonions, has zero divisors and so cannot be a normed division algebra. The unit quaternions can be thought of as a choice of a group structure on the three sphere S3 that gives the group spin 3, which is isomorphic to SU and also to the universal cover of SO History Quaternions were introduced by Hamilton in 1843. Important precursors to this work included Euler's four-square identity and Alinde Rodriguez's parameterization of general rotations by four parameters but neither of these writers treated the four-parameter rotations as an algebra. Carl Friedrich Gauss had also discovered quaternions in 1819, but this work was not published until 1900. Hamilton knew that the complex numbers could be interpreted as points in a plane, and he was looking for a way to do the same for points in three dimensional space. 
points in space can be represented by their coordinates, which are triples of numbers, and for many years he had known how to add and subtract triples of numbers. However, Hamilton had been stuck on the problem of multiplication and division for a long time. He could not figure out how to calculate the quotient of the coordinates of two points in space. The great breakthrough in quaternions finally came on Monday, 16 October 1843 in Dublin, when Hamilton was on his way to the Royal Irish Academy where he was going to preside at a council meeting. As he walked along the towpath of the Royal Canal with his wife, the concepts behind quaternions were taking shape in his mind. When the answer dawned on him, Hamilton could not resist the urge to carve the formula for the quaternions I 2 equals J 2 equals K 2 equals I J K equals minus one Display style Math BF I carrot two equals Math BF J carrot two equals Math BF K carrot two equals Math BF I J K equals minus one into the stone of Brougham Bridge as he paused on it. Although the carving has since faded away, there has been an annual pilgrimage since 1989 called the Hamilton Walk for scientists and mathematicians who walk from Dunsink Observatory to the Royal Canal Bridge in remembrance of Hamilton's discovery. On the following day, Hamilton wrote a letter to his friend and fellow mathematician, John T. Graves, describing the train of thought that led to his discovery. This letter was later published in a letter to a science magazine. Hamilton states, and here there dawned on me the notion that we must admit, in some sense, a fourth dimension of space for the purpose of calculating with triples. An electric circuit seemed to close, and a spark flashed forth. Hamilton called a quadruple with these rules of multiplication a quaternion, and he devoted most of the remainder of his life to studying and teaching them. Hamilton's treatment is more geometric than the modern approach, which emphasizes quaternions' algebraic properties. He founded a school of quaternionists and he tried to popularize quaternions in several books. The last and longest of his books, Elements of Quaternions, was 800 pages long. It was edited by his son and published shortly after his death. After Hamilton's death, his student Peter Tate continued promoting quaternions. At this time, quaternions were a mandatory examination topic in Dublin. Topics in physics and geometry that would now be described using vectors, such as kinematics in space and Maxwell's equations, were described entirely in terms of quaternions. There was even a professional research association, the Quaternion Society, devoted to the study of quaternions and other hypercomplex number systems. From the mid-1880s, quaternions began to be displaced by vector analysis, which had been developed by Josiah Willard Gibbs, Oliver Heaviside, and Hermann von Helmholtz. Vector analysis described the same phenomena as quaternions, so it borrowed some ideas and terminology liberally from the literature of quaternions. 
However, vector analysis was conceptually simpler and notationally cleaner, and eventually quaternions were relegated to a minor role in mathematics and physics. A side effect of this transition is that Hamilton's work is difficult to comprehend for many modern readers. Hamilton's original definitions are unfamiliar and his writing style was wordy and difficult to understand. However, quaternions have had a revival since the late 20th century, primarily due to their utility in describing spatial rotations. The representations of rotations by quaternions are more compact and quicker to compute than the representations by matrices. In addition, unlike Euler angles, they are not susceptible to gimbal lock. For this reason, quaternions are used in computer graphics, computer vision, robotics, control theory, signal processing, attitude control, physics, bioinformatics, molecular dynamics, computer simulations, and orbital mechanics. For example, it is common for the attitude control systems of spacecraft to be commanded in terms of quaternions. Quaternions have received another boost from number theory because of their relationships with the quadratic forms. Topic: <laughs> Quaternions in physics. P. R. Girard's essay The Quaternion Group and Modern Physics discusses some roles of quaternions in physics. It shows how various physical covariance groups, so 3, the Lorentz group, the general relativity group, the Clifford algebra SU 2, and the conformal group can be readily related to the quaternion group. In modern algebra, Girard began by discussing group representations and by representing some space groups of crystallography. He proceeded to kinematics of rigid body motion. Next he used complex quaternions to represent the Lorentz group of special relativity, including the Thomas precession. He cited five authors, beginning with Ludwig Silberstein, who used a potential function of one quaternion variable to express Maxwell's equations in a single differential equation. Concerning general relativity, he expressed the Runge lens vector. He mentioned the Clifford biquaternions, split biquaternions as an instance of Clifford algebra. Finally, invoking the reciprocal of a biquaternion, Girard described conformal maps on spacetime. Among the 50 references, Girard included Alexander McFarlane and his Bulletin of the Quaternion Society. In 1999 he showed how Einstein's equations of general relativity could be formulated within a Clifford algebra that is directly linked to quaternions. The finding of 1924 that in quantum mechanics the spin of an electron and other matter particles known as spinors can be described using quaternions furthered their interest. Quaternions helped to understand how rotations of electrons by 360 degrees can be discerned from those by 720 degrees the plate trick. As of 2018, the use has not overtaken rotation groups. Topic: <laughs> Definition. A quaternion is an expression of the form a plus b i plus C 
J plus D K Display style A plus B Math BF I plus C Math BF J plus D Math BF K where A, B, C, D are real numbers, and I, J, K are symbols that can be interpreted as unit vectors pointing along the three spatial axes. In practice, if one of A, B, C, D is zero, the corresponding term is omitted, if A, B, C, D are all zero, the quaternion is the zero quaternion, denoted zero, if one of B, C, D equals one, the corresponding term is written simply I, J, or K. Hamilton describes a quaternion Q equals a plus B I plus C J plus D K Display style Q equals A plus B Math BF I plus C Math BF J plus D Math BF K as consisting of a scalar part and a vector part. The quaternion B I plus C J plus D K Display style B Math BF I plus C Math BF J plus D Math BF K is called the vector part, sometimes imaginary part of Q, and A is the scalar part, sometimes real part of Q. A quaternion that equals its real part, that is, its vector part is zero, is called a scalar and is identified with the corresponding real number. That is, the real numbers are a subset of the quaternions. A quaternion that equals its vector part is called a vector quaternion. The set of quaternions is made of four-dimensional vector space over the real numbers, with 1 i j k display style left 1 math bf i math bf j math bf k right as a basis by the component wise addition a 1 plus b 1 i plus c 1 j plus d 1 k plus a 2 plus b 2 i plus c 2 J plus D two K equals a one plus a two plus B one plus B Two I plus C one plus C two J plus D one plus, 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 plus
plus d 2 k display style underscore 1 plus b underscore 1 math BF I plus C underscore 1 math BF J plus D underscore 1 math BF K plus underscore 2 plus B underscore 2 math BF I plus C underscore 2 math BF J plus D underscore 2 math BF K equals a underscore 1 plus a underscore 2 plus B underscore 1 plus B underscore 2 math BF I plus C underscore 1 plus C underscore 2 math BF J plus D underscore 1 plus D underscore 2 math BF K and the component wise scalar multiplication lambda a plus B I plus C J plus D K equals Lambda A plus Lambda B I plus Lambda C J plus Lambda D K Display style Lambda A plus B Math BF I plus C Math BF J plus D Math BF K equals Lambda A plus Lambda B Math BF I plus Lambda C Math BF J plus Lambda D Math BF K tilde a multiplicative group structure, called the Hamilton product, denoted by juxtaposition, can be defined on the quaternions in the following way. The real quaternion 1 is the identity element. The real quaternions commute with all other quaternions, that is a q equals q a for every quaternion q and every real quaternion a. In algebraic terminology this is to say that the field of real quaternions are the center of this quaternion algebra. The product is first given for the basis elements see next subsection, and then extended to all quaternions by using the distributive property and the center property of the real quaternions. The Hamilton product is not commutative, but associative, thus the quaternions form an associative algebra over the reals. Additionally, every nonzero quaternion has an inverse with respect to the Hamilton product A plus B I plus C J plus D K minus one equals one a two plus B two plus C Two plus D two a minus B I minus C J minus D K 
Display style A plus B Math BF I plus C Math BF J plus D Math BF K carrot minus one equals frac one a carrot two plus B carrot two plus C carrot two plus D carrot two A B Math BF I C Math BF J D Math BF K Thus the quaternions form a division algebra. Topic: Multiplication of basis elements. The basis elements i, j, and k commute with the real quaternion 1, that is i 1 equals one I equals I J one equals one J equals J K one equals one K equals K Display style I C D O T one equals one C D O T I equals I Q quad J C D O T one equals one C D O T J equals J Q quad K C D O T one equals one C D O T K equals K the other products of basis elements are defined by I two equals J two equals K two equals minus one Display style I carrot two equals J carrot two equals K carrot two equals minus one and I J equals K J I equals minus K J K equals I K J equals minus I K I equals J I K equals minus J Display style begin aligner dat two I J and equals K and Q quad G and equals K J K and equals I and K J and equals I key and equals J and ik and equals J end aligner dat these multiplication formulas are equivalent to I two equals J two equals K two equals I J K equals minus one Display style I carrot two equals J carrot two equals K carrot two equals I J K equals minus one tilde. In fact, the equality I J K equals minus one results from I J K equals K two equals minus one. Display style I J K equals K carrot two equals minus one. The converse implication results from manipulations similar to the following. By right multiplying both sides of minus one equals I J K by K, one gets K equals I J K minus K equals I J minus K two equals I J. 
Display style K equals I J K K equals I J K carrot two equals I J. All other products can be determined by similar methods. Topic Center The center of a noncommutative ring is the subring of elements C such that Cx equals xc for every x. The center of the quaternion algebra is the subfield of real quaternions. In fact, it is a part of the definition that the real quaternions belong to the center. Conversely, if Q equals A plus by plus C J plus D K belongs to the center, then zero equals I Q minus Q I equals two C I J plus two D I K equals two C K minus two D J Display style zero equals I Q G equals two C I J plus two Dick equals two C K two D J and C Topic D zero a similar computation with J instead of I shows that one has also B Topic zero thus Q A is a real quaternion. The quaternion form a division algebra. This means that the noncommutativity of multiplication is the only property that makes quaternions different from a field. This noncommutativity has some unexpected consequences, among them that a polynomial equation over the quaternions can have more distinct solutions than the degree of the polynomial. For example, the equation Z2 plus 1. Topic. Zero has infinitely many quaternion solutions, which are the quaternions Z by plus C J plus D K such that B two plus C two plus D two equals one. Thus these roots of minus one form a unit sphere in the three-dimensional space of vector quaternions. Hamilton product for two elements A1 plus B1I plus C1J plus D1K and A2 plus B2I plus C2J plus D2K, their product, called the Hamilton product A1 plus B1I plus C1J plus D1K A2 plus B2I plus C2J plus D2K, is determined by the products of the basis element elements and the distributive law. The distributive law makes it possible to expand the product so that it is a sum of products of basis elements. This gives the following expression a 1 a 2 plus a 1 B two I 
plus a one C two J plus a one D two K Display style underscore one a underscore two plus a underscore one b underscore two i plus a underscore one c underscore two j plus a underscore one d underscore two k plus b one a two i plus B one B two I two plus B one C two I J plus B one D two I K Display style plus B underscore one a underscore two I plus B underscore one B underscore two I carrot two plus B underscore one C underscore two I J plus B underscore one D underscore two ik plus C one a two J plus C one B two J I plus C one C two J two plus C one D two J K Display style plus C underscore one a underscore two J plus C underscore one B underscore two G plus C underscore one C underscore two J carrot two plus C underscore one D underscore two J K plus D one two K plus D one B two K I plus D one C two K J plus D one D two K two Display style plus D underscore one a underscore two K plus D underscore one B underscore two key plus D underscore one C underscore two K J plus D underscore one D underscore two K carrot two now the basis elements can be multiplied using the rules given above to get one a two minus B one B two minus C one C two 
minus d 1 d 2 display style or underscore 1 or underscore 2 B underscore 1 B underscore 2 C underscore 1 C underscore 2 D underscore 1 D underscore 2 plus a 1 B 2 plus B one a two plus C one D two minus D one C two I Display style plus a underscore one B underscore two plus B underscore one a underscore two plus C underscore one D underscore two D underscore one C underscore two I plus a one C two Minus B one D two plus C one a two plus D one B two J Display style plus a underscore one C underscore two B underscore one D underscore two plus C underscore one a underscore two plus D underscore one B underscore two J plus a one D two plus B one C two minus C one B two plus D one a two K Display style plus a underscore one D underscore two plus B underscore one C underscore two C underscore one B underscore two plus D underscore one a underscore two K the product of two rotation quaternions will be equivalent to the rotation A2 plus B2I plus C2J plus D2K followed by the rotation A1 plus B1I plus C1J plus D1K. Topic: <laughs> Scalar and vector parts. A quaternion of the form A plus 0i plus 0j plus 0k, where A is a real number, is called scalar, and a quaternion of the form 0 plus by plus cj plus dk, where b, c, and d are real numbers, and at least one of b, c or d is non-zero, is called a vector quaternion. If A plus by plus C J plus D K is any quaternion, then A is called its scalar part and by plus C J plus D K is called its vector part. Even though every quaternion can be viewed as a vector in a four-dimensional vector space, it is common to refer to the vector part as vectors in three-dimensional space. 
With this convention, a vector is the same as an element of the vector space R3. Hamilton also called vector quaternions right quaternions and real numbers, considered as quaternions with zero vector part, scalar quaternions. If a quaternion is divided up into a scalar part and a vector part, i.e., Q equals R V Q element of H R element of R V element of R three Display style Q equals R V C V Q in Math BF H R in Math BF R V C V in Math BF R carrot three Then the formulas for addition and multiplication are R one V one Plus R two V two equals R one plus R two V one plus V Two Display style R underscore one VEC V underscore one plus R underscore two VEC V underscore two equals R underscore one plus R underscore two VEC V underscore one plus VEC V underscore two R one V one R two V two equals R one R two minus V one V Two R one V two plus R two V one plus V one times V two Display style R underscore one VEC V underscore one R underscore two VEC V underscore two equals R underscore one R underscore two VEC V underscore one CDOT VEC V underscore two R underscore one VEC V underscore two Plus R underscore two VEC V underscore one plus VEC V underscore one times VEC V underscore two where quote quote is the dot product and times is the cross product. Topic Conjugation, the norm, and reciprocal Conjugation of quaternions is analogous to conjugation of complex numbers and to transposition also known as reversal of elements of Clifford algebras. To define it, let Q equals A Plus 
B I plus C J plus D K Display style Q equals A plus by plus C J plus D K B a quaternion. The conjugate of Q is the quaternion Q equals a minus B I minus C J minus D K Display style Q carrot asterisk equals a by C J D K. It is denoted by Q, Q, quart, or Q tilde Display style tilde Q. Conjugation is an involution, meaning that it is its own inverse, so conjugating an element twice returns the original element. The conjugate of a product of two quaternions is the product of the conjugates in the reverse order. That is, if P and Q are quaternions, then PQ equals QP, not PQ. The conjugation of a quaternion, in stark contrast to the complex setting, can be expressed with multiplication and addition of quaternions Q equals minus 1 2 Q plus I Q I plus J Q J plus K Q K Display style Q carrot asterisk equals frac one two Q plus Icky plus J Q J plus K Q K Conjugation can be used to extract the scalar and vector parts of a quaternion. The scalar part of P is P plus P, 2, and the vector part of P is P minus P, 2. The square root of the product of a quaternion with its conjugate is called its norm and is denoted Q. Hamilton called this quantity the tensor of Q, but this conflicts with modern meaning of tensor. In formula, this is expressed as follows Q equals Q Q equals q q equals a 2 plus b 2 plus c 2 plus d 2 Display style L ver Q R vert equals S Q R T Q Q carrot asterisk equals S Q R T Q carrot asterisk Q equals S Q R T a carrot two plus B carrot two plus C carrot two plus D carrot two. This is always a non-negative real number, and it is the same as the Euclidean norm on H considered as the vector space R4. Multiplying a quaternion by a real number scales its norm by the absolute value of the number. That is, if alpha is real, then alpha q equals Alpha Q 
Display style L vert alpha q R vert equals L vert alpha L vert L vert q R vert. This is a special case of the fact that the norm is multiplicative, meaning that P Q equals P Q display style L vert P Q R vert equals L vert P R vert L vert Q R vert for any two quaternions P and Q multiplicativity is a consequence of the formula for the conjugate of a product Alternatively, it follows from the identity debt A plus I B I D plus C I D minus C A minus I B equals a two plus B two plus C two plus D two. Display style debt B I G L begin array C C A plus I B and I B plus C I B C and I B end array big R equals a carrot two plus B carrot two plus C carrot two plus D carrot two, where I denotes the usual imaginary unit, and hence from the multiplicative property of determinants of square matrices. This norm makes it possible to define the distance d p q between p and q as the norm of the difference d p q equals p minus q. Display style d p q equals l vert p q r vert. This makes H into a metric space. Addition and multiplication are continuous in the metric topology. Indeed, for any scalar positive, it holds p plus a p one plus q plus a q 1 minus p plus q equals a p 1 plus q one display style L vert P plus a P underscore one plus Q plus a Q underscore one P plus Q R vert equals a L vert P underscore one plus Q underscore one R vert continuity follows from taking a to zero in the limit continuity for multiplication holds similarly Topic Unit Quaternion A unit quaternion is a quaternion of norm one. Dividing a non-zero quaternion Q by its norm produces a unit quaternion UQ called the versa of Q U Q equals Q Q Display style math BF U Q equals frac Q L vert Q R vert. Every quaternion has a polar decomposition Q equals Q U Q Display style Q equals L vert Q R vert C D O T Math BF U Q. Using conjugation and the norm makes it possible to define the reciprocal of a non-zero quaternion. The product of a quaternion with its reciprocal should equal one, and the considerations above imply that the product of Q Display style Q and Q Q two 
display style q caret ast left burk q right caret two in either order is one. So the reciprocal of q is defined to be q minus one equals q q two display style q caret minus 1 equals frac q caret asterisk l vert q r vert caret 2 this makes it possible to divide two quaternions p and q in two different ways when q is non zero that is the quotient can be either p q minus 1 or q minus 1 p the notation p, q is ambiguous because it does not specify whether q divides on the left or the right. <laughs> Algebraic properties The set H of all quaternions is a vector space over the real numbers with dimension 4. In comparison, the real numbers have dimension 1, the complex numbers have dimension 2, and the octonians have dimension 8. Multiplication of quaternions is associative and distributes over vector addition, but it is not commutative. Therefore, the quaternions H are a non commutative associative algebra over the real numbers. Even though H contains copies of the complex numbers, it is not an associative algebra over the complex numbers. Because it is possible to divide quaternions, they form a division algebra. This is a structure similar to a field except for the non-commutativity of multiplication. Finite dimensional associative division algebras over the real numbers are very rare. The Frobenius theorem states that there are exactly 3, R, C, and H. The norm makes the quaternions into a normed algebra, and normed division algebras over the reals are also very rare. Hurwitz's theorem says that there are only 4, R, C, H, and O the octonians. The quaternions are also an example of a composition algebra and of a unital Banach algebra. Because the product of any two basis vectors is plus or minus another basis vector, the set plus or minus 1, plus or minus i, plus or minus j, plus or minus k forms a group under multiplication. This non-abelian group is called the quaternion group and is denoted Q8. The real group ring of Q8 is a ring R Q8, which is also an eight-dimensional vector space over R. It has one basis vector for each element of Q8. The quaternions are the quotient ring of R Q8 by the ideal generated by the elements 1 plus minus 1, I plus minus I, J plus minus J, and K plus minus K. Here the first term in each of the differences is one of the basis elements 1, i, j, and k, and the second term is one of basis elements minus 1, minus i, minus j, and minus k, not the additive inverses of 1, i, j, and k. Topic. Quaternions and the geometry of R3 The vector part of a quaternion can be interpreted as a coordinate vector in R3, therefore, the algebraic operations of the quaternions reflect the geometry of R3. 
operations such as the vector dot and cross products can be defined in terms of quaternions, and this makes it possible to apply quaternion techniques wherever spatial vectors arise. A useful application of quaternions has been to interpolate the orientations of key frames in computer graphics. For the remainder of this section, i, j, and k will denote both the three imaginary basis vectors of H and a basis for R3. Notice that replacing i by minus i, j by minus j, and k by minus k sends a vector to its additive inverse, so the additive inverse of a vector is the same as its conjugate as a quaternion. For this reason, conjugation is sometimes called the spatial inverse. For two vector quaternions p. Topic B1I plus C1J plus D1K and Q. B2I plus C2J plus D2K. The dot product, by analogy to vectors in R3, is P Q equals B1. B two plus C one C two plus D one D two Display style P C D O T Q equals B underscore one B underscore two plus C underscore one C underscore two plus D underscore one D underscore two It can also be expressed in a component free manner as P Q equals one Two P Q plus Q P equals one two P Q plus Q P Display style P C D O T Q equals text style frac one two P carrot asterisk Q plus Q carrot asterisk P equals text style frac one two P Q carrot asterisk plus Q P carrot asterisk This is equal to the scalar parts of the products P Q, Q P, P Q, and Q P. Note that their vector parts are different. The cross product of P and Q relative to the orientation determined by the ordered basis I, J, and K is P times Q equals C one D two Minus D one C two I plus D one B two minus B one D two J plus B one C two minus C one B two K 
Display style P times Q equals C underscore one D underscore two D underscore one C underscore two I plus D underscore one B underscore two B underscore one D underscore two J plus B underscore one C underscore two C underscore one B underscore two K Recall that the orientation is necessary to determine the sign. This is equal to the vector part of the product PQ, as quaternions, as well as the vector part of minus QP. It also has the formula P times Q equals 1 two P Q minus Q P Display style P times Q equals text style frac one two P Q Q carrot asterisk P carrot asterisk for the commutator P Q equals P Q minus Q P of two vector quaternions one obtains P Q equals two P times Q Display style P Q equals two P times Q in general, let P and Q be quaternions and write P equals P S plus P V Display style P equals P underscore S plus P underscore V Q equals Q S plus Q V display style Q equals Q underscore S plus Q underscore V, where P S and Q S are the scalar parts, and P V display style P underscore V and Q V display style Q underscore V are the vector parts of P and Q. Then we have the formula P Q equals P Q S plus P Q V equals P S Q S minus P V Q V plus P S Q V plus Q S P V plus P V times Q V Display style P Q equals P Q underscore S plus P Q underscore V equals P underscore S Q underscore S P underscore V C D O T Q underscore V plus P underscore S Q underscore V plus Q underscore S P underscore V plus P underscore V times Q underscore V 
This shows that the noncommutativity of quaternion multiplication comes from the multiplication of vector quaternions. It also shows that two quaternions commute if and only if their vector parts are collinear. Hamilton showed that this product computes the third vertex of a spherical triangle from two given vertices and their associated arc lengths, which is also an algebra of points in elliptic geometry. Unit quaternions can be identified with rotations in R3 and were called verses by Hamilton. Also see quaternions and spatial rotation for more information about modeling three-dimensional rotations using quaternions. See Andrew J. Hansen, for visualization of quaternions. Topic matrix representations Just as complex numbers can be represented as matrices, so can quaternions. There are at least two ways of representing quaternions as matrices in such a way that quaternion addition and multiplication correspond to matrix addition and matrix multiplication. One is to use two times two complex matrices, and the other is to use four times four real matrices. In each case, the representation given is one of a family of linearly related representations. In the terminology of abstract algebra, these are injective homomorphisms from H to the matrix rings M, 2, C, and M, 4, R, respectively. Using 2 times 2 complex matrices, the quaternion A plus by plus Cj plus Dk can be represented as A plus Bic plus Di minus C plus Dia minus Bi. Display style begin B matrix A plus by and C plus die C plus die and a by end B matrix. This representation has the following properties: constraining any two of B, C, and D to zero produces a representation of complex numbers. For example, setting C. Topic D zero produces a diagonal complex matrix representation of complex numbers and setting B. Topic D zero produces a real matrix representation. The norm of a quaternion, the square root of the product with its conjugate, as with complex numbers, is the square root of the determinant of the corresponding matrix. The conjugate of a quaternion corresponds to the conjugate transpose of the matrix. By restriction this representation yields an isomorphism between the subgroup of unit quaternions and their image SU Topologically, the unit quaternions are the three-sphere, so the underlying space of SU is also a three-sphere. The group SU is important for describing spin in quantum mechanics, see Pauli matrices. There is a strong relation between quaternion units and Pauli matrices. Obtain the eight quaternion unit matrices by taking A, B, C and D, set three of them at zero and the fourth at one or minus one. Multiplying any two Pauli matrices always yields a quaternion unit matrix, all of them except for minus 1. One obtains minus 1 via I2. Topic J2 K2 
Topic IJK minus one, e.g., the last equality is I J K equals Sigma one Sigma two Sigma three Sigma one Sigma two Sigma three equals minus one Display style begin aligned I J K equals Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two Sigma underscore three Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two Sigma underscore three equals minus one end aligned Using four times four real matrices, that same quaternion can be written as Minus B minus C minus D B A minus D C C D A minus B D minus C B A equals a one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one plus B zero minus one zero Zero one zero 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 minus one zero zero one zero Plus C zero zero minus one zero 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 one one zero 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 minus one zero zero plus D zero 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 minus one zero zero minus one zero O one O O one O O O Display style begin B matrix A and B and C and D 
B and A and D and C, C and D and A and B, D and C and B and A end B matrix equals a begin B matrix one and zero and zero and zero zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end B matrix plus B begin B matrix zero and minus one and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and minus one zero and zero and one and zero end B matrix plus C begin B matrix zero and zero and minus one and zero zero and zero and zero and one one and zero and zero and zero zero and minus one and zero and zero end B matrix plus D begin B matrix zero and zero and zero and minus one zero and zero and minus one and zero zero and one and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero end B matrix however the representation of quaternions in M four is not unique for example the same quaternion can also be represented as a D minus B minus C minus D A C minus B B minus C a minus D C B D A equals a one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one plus B zero zero minus one zero 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 minus one one zero 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 one zero zero plus C zero 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 minus one zero zero one zero zero minus one O one O O O plus D O one O O minus one O O O O O O minus one O O one O Display style begin B matrix O and D and B and C D and A and C and B B and C and A and D C and B and D and A end B matrix equals a begin B matrix one and zero and zero and zero zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end B matrix plus B begin B matrix zero and zero and minus one and zero zero and zero and 
and 0 and minus 1, 1 and 0 and 0 and 0, 0 and 1 and 0 and 0, end B matrix plus C, begin B matrix 0 and 0 and 0 and minus 1, 0 and 0 and 1 and 0, 0 and minus 1 and 0 and 0, 1 and 0 and 0 and 0, end B matrix plus D, begin B matrix 0 and 1 and 0 and 0 minus 1 and 0 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and minus 1 0 and 0 and 1 and 0 end B matrix in fact there exist 48 distinct representations of this form more precisely, there are 48 sets of quadruples of matrices such that a function sending 1, i, j, and k to the matrices in the quadruple is a homomorphism, that is, it sends sums and products of quaternions to sums and products of matrices. In this representation, the conjugate of a quaternion corresponds to the transpose of the matrix. The fourth power of the norm of a quaternion is the determinant of the corresponding matrix. As with the 2 times 2 complex representation above, complex numbers can again be produced by constraining the coefficients suitably, for example, as block diagonal matrices with 2 2 times 2 blocks by setting C. Topic D 0 each 4x4 four four matrix representation of quaternions corresponds to a multiplication table of unit quaternions. For example, the last matrix representation given above corresponds to the multiplication table, which is isomorphic through a 1 b I C J D K display style a mapsto one B mapsto I C mapsto J D mapsto K two constraining any such multiplication table to have the identity in the first row and column and for the signs of the row headers to be opposite to those of the column headers, then there are three possible choices for the second column, ignoring sign, two possible choices for the third column, ignoring sign, and one possible choice for the fourth column, ignoring sign, that makes six possibilities. Properties. Then, the second column can be chosen to be either positive or negative, the third column can be chosen to be positive or negative, and the fourth column can be chosen to be positive or negative, giving eight possibilities for the sign. Multiplying the possibilities for the letter positions and for the signs yields 48. Then replacing 1 with A, I with B, J with C, and K with D and removing the row and column headers yields a matrix representation of A plus by plus C J plus D K. Lagrange's four-square theorem Quaternions are also used in one of the proofs of Lagrange's four-square theorem in number theory, which states that every non-negative integer is the sum of four integer squares. As well as being an elegant theorem in its own right, Lagrange's four-square theorem has useful applications in areas of mathematics outside number theory, such as combinatorial design theory. 
The quaternion based proof uses Hurwitz quaternions, a subring of the ring of all quaternions for which there is an analogue of the Euclidean algorithm. Topic. Quaternions as pairs of complex numbers Quaternions can be represented as pairs of complex numbers. From this perspective, quaternions are the result of applying the Cayley-Dixon construction to the complex numbers. This is a generalization of the construction of the complex numbers as pairs of real numbers. Let C2 be a two-dimensional vector space over the complex numbers. Choose a basis consisting of two elements 1 and j. A vector in C2 can be written in terms of the basis elements 1 and j as a plus b i 1 plus c plus d i j display style a plus by 1 plus c plus di j if we define j2 Topic minus one and I J minus G, then we can multiply two vectors using the distributive law. Writing K in place of the product I J leads to the same rules for multiplication as the usual quaternions. Therefore, the above vector of complex numbers corresponds to the quaternion A plus by plus Cj plus Dk. If we write the elements of C2 as ordered pairs and quaternions as quadruples, then the correspondence is A plus B I C plus D I left right arrow A B C D Display style A plus by C plus die left right arrow A B C D Topic Square roots of minus one In the complex numbers, C, there are just two numbers, I and minus I, whose square is minus one. In H there are infinitely many square roots of minus one. The quaternion solution for the square root of minus one is the unit sphere in R3. To see this, let Q equals A plus by plus C J plus D K be a quaternion, and assume that its square is minus 1. In terms of A, B, C, and D, this means a 2 minus B 2 minus C 2 minus d 2 equals minus 1 display style carrot 2 b carrot 2 c carrot 2 d carrot 2 equals minus 1 2 a b equals zero display style two ab equals zero two a c equals zero 
Display style two AC equals zero two A D equals zero Display style two add equals zero to satisfy the last three equations, either a topic zero or b, c, and d are all zero. The latter is impossible because a is a real number, and the first equation would imply that a two minus one. Therefore, a Topic zero and B two plus C two plus D two one. In other words, a quaternion squares to minus one if and only if it is a vector quaternion with norm one. By definition, the set of all such vectors forms the unit sphere. Only negative real quaternions have infinitely many square roots. All others have just two, or one in the case of zero. The identification of the square roots of minus one in H was given by Hamilton but was frequently omitted in other texts. By 1971 the sphere was included by Sam Perlis in his three-page exposition included in Historical Topics in Algebra, page 39, published by the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. More recently, the sphere of square roots of minus 1 is described in Ian e R. Porteous's book Clifford Algebras and the Classical Groups, Cambridge, 1995, in Proposition 8.13 on page 60. Topic. H as a union of complex planes Each pair of square roots of minus 1 creates a distinct copy of the complex numbers inside the quaternions. If q2 equals minus 1, then the copy is determined by the function a plus b minus 1 a plus B Q Display style A plus B SQRT minus one maps to A plus B Q In the language of abstract algebra, each is an injective ring homomorphism from C to H. The images of the embeddings corresponding to Q and minus Q are identical. Every non-real quaternion determines a planar subspace in H that is isomorphic to C, write Q as the sum of its scalar part and its vector part Q equals Q S plus Q V Display style Q equals Q underscore S plus VEC Q underscore V. Decompose the vector part further as the product of its norm and its versa Q equals Q S plus Q V u q v display style q equals q underscore s plus l vert vec q underscore v r vert c d o t math b f u vec q underscore v note that this is not the same as q s plus q 
u q display style q underscore s plus l vert q r vert c d o t math b f u q the versa of the vector part of q u q v display style math b f u v c q underscore v is a right versa with minus 1 as its square. Therefore, it determines a copy of the complex numbers by the function a plus b minus 1 a plus b u q V display style a plus b sqrt minus one mapsto a plus b math bf u vec q underscore v under this function q is the image of the complex number q s plus q v I display style q underscore s plus l vert v c q underscore v r vert i. Thus, H is the union of complex planes intersecting in a common real line, where the union is taken over the sphere of square roots of minus one, bearing in mind that the same plane is associated with any pair of antipodal points on the sphere of right verses. Topic: <laughs> Commutative subrings. The relationship of quaternions to each other within the complex subplanes of H can also be identified and expressed in terms of commutative subrings. Specifically, since two quaternions P and Q commute i.e. PQ equals QP only if they lie in the same complex subplane of H, the profile of H as a union of complex planes arises when one seeks to find all commutative subrings of the quaternion ring. This method of commutative subrings is also used to profile the split quaternions, which as an algebra over the reals are isomorphic to 2 times 2 real matrices. Functions of a quaternion variable equals like functions of a complex variable functions of a quaternion variable suggest useful physical models for example the original electric and magnetic fields described by maxwell were functions of a quaternion variable Examples of other functions include the extension of the Mandelbrot set and Julia sets into four-dimensional space. Exponential, logarithm, and power functions Given a quaternion Q equals A plus B I plus C J plus D K equals A plus B display style Q equals a plus by plus C J plus D K equals a plus math BF V 
the exponential is computed as exp q equals n equals 0 infinity q n n equals e a cos v plus v v sin v Display style exp q equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t frac q carrot n n equals e carrot a left cos math bf v plus frac math bf v math bf v sin math bf v right lane q equals lane q plus v v r cos a q Display style lane q equals lane q plus frac math bf v math bf v r cos frac a q it follows that the polar decomposition of a quaternion may be written Q equals Q E N carrot theta equals Q cos theta plus N carrot sin theta display style Q equals Q e carrot hat N theta equals Q left cos theta plus hat N sin theta right where the angle theta display style theta and the unit vector n caret display style hat n are defined by a equals q cos theta display style a equals q cos theta and V equals N carrot V equals N carrot Q sin theta Display style Math BF V equals hat N Math BF V equals hat N Q sin theta. Any unit quaternion may be expressed in polar form as E N carrot theta Display style E carrot hat N theta the power of a quaternion raised to an arbitrary real exponent alpha display style alpha is given by q alpha equals q alpha e n caret Alpha theta equals Q alpha cos alpha theta plus N carrot 
sin alpha theta display style q caret alpha equals q caret alpha e caret hat n alpha theta equals q caret alpha left cos alpha theta plus hat n sin alpha theta right topic geodesic norm The geodesic distance dg p q between unit quaternions p and q is defined as d g p q equals lane p minus one q. Display style D underscore G P Q equals L vert lane P carrot minus one Q R vert and amounts to the absolute value of half the angle subtended by P and Q along a great arc of the S three sphere. This angle can also be computed from the quaternion dot product without the logarithm as R cos two P Q two minus one Display style R cos two P C D O T Q carrot two minus one Topic Three-dimensional and four-dimensional rotation groups The term, conjugation, besides the meaning given above, can also mean taking an element at a ra minus 1 where r is some non-zero quaternion. All elements that are conjugate to a given element in this sense of the word conjugate have the same real part and the same norm of the vector part. Thus the conjugate in the other sense is one of the conjugates in this sense. Thus the multiplicative group of non-zero quaternions acts by conjugation on the copy of R3 consisting of quaternions with real part, equal to zero. Conjugation by a unit quaternion a quaternion of absolute value 1 with real part cos theta is a rotation by an angle 2 theta, the axis of the rotation being the direction of the vector part. The advantages of quaternions are Avoiding gimbal lock, a problem with systems such as Euler angles faster and more compact than matrices. Non-singular representation, compared with Euler angles for example. Pairs of unit quaternions represent a rotation in 4D space see rotations in four-dimensional Euclidean space, algebra of 4D rotations, the set of all unit quaternions versus forms a three-sphere S3 and a group, a lie group under multiplication, double covering the group so 3, R of real orthogonal 3 times 3 matrices of determinant 1 since two unit quaternions correspond to every rotation under the above correspondence. See the plate trick. The image of a subgroup of verses is a point group, and conversely, the preimage of a point group is a subgroup of verses. The preimage of a finite point group is called by the same name, with the prefix binary. For instance, the preimage of the icosahedral group is the binary icosahedral group. The verses group is isomorphic to SU the group of complex unitary 2 times 2 matrices of determinant 1. 
let a be the set of quaternions of the form A plus by plus C J plus D K where A, B, C, and D are either all integers or all rational numbers with odd numerator and denominator 2. The set A is a ring in fact a domain and a lattice and is called the ring of Hurwitz quaternions. There are 24 unit quaternions in this ring, and they are the vertices of a regular 24 cell with Schlafly symbol 3, 4, 3. They correspond to the double cover of the rotational symmetry group of the regular tetrahedron. Similarly, the vertices of a regular 600 cell with Schlafly symbol 3, 3, 5 can be taken as the unit icosians, corresponding to the double cover of the rotational symmetry group of the regular icosahedron. The double cover of the rotational symmetry group of the regular octahedron corresponds to the quaternions that represent the vertices of the dysphenoidal 288 cell. Topic: <laughs> Quaternion algebras. The quaternions can be generalized into further algebras called quaternion algebras. Take f to be any field with characteristic different from 2, and a and b to be elements of f. A four dimensional unitary associative algebra can be defined over f with basis 1, i, j, and i, j, where i2. Topic A J two B and I J Topic minus G so I J two minus AB Quaternion algebras are isomorphic to the algebra of two times two matrices over F or form division algebras over F, depending on the choice of A and B. Topic: <laughs> Quaternions as the even part of C three zero R. The usefulness of quaternions for geometrical computations can be generalized to other dimensions by identifying the quaternions as the even part C plus 3, 0 R of the Clifford algebra C3, 0 R. This is an associative multivector algebra built up from fundamental basis elements σ1, σ2, σ3 using the product rules σ1 2 equals σ2 2 equals Sigma three two equals one Display style Sigma underscore one carrot two equals Sigma underscore two carrot two equals Sigma underscore three carrot two equals one Sigma I Sigma J equals minus sigma J sigma I J does not equal I Display style sigma underscore I sigma underscore J equals sigma underscore J sigma underscore I Q quad J N E Q I 
if these fundamental basis elements are taken to represent vectors in 3D space, then it turns out that the reflection of a vector r in a plane perpendicular to a unit vector w can be written r equals minus w r w Display style R carrot prime equals W, R, W. Two reflections make a rotation by an angle twice the angle between the two reflection planes, so R equals Sigma two Sigma one R Sigma one Sigma two Display style R carrot prime prime equals Sigma underscore two Sigma underscore one R Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two corresponds to a rotation of 180 degrees in the plane containing σ1 and σ2. This is very similar to the corresponding quaternion formula R equals minus K R K Display style R carrot prime prime equals Math BF K R Math BF K. In fact, the two are identical if we make the identification K equals Sigma two Sigma one I equals sigma 3 sigma 2 j equals sigma 1 sigma 3 Display style Math BF K equals Sigma underscore two Sigma underscore one Math BF I equals Sigma underscore three Sigma underscore two Math BF J equals Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore three and it is straightforward to confirm that this preserves the Hamilton relations. I two equals J two equals K two equals I J K equals minus one Display style Math BF I carrot two equals Math BF J carrot two equals Math BF K carrot two equals Math BF I Math BF J Math BF K equals minus one In this picture, quaternions correspond not to vectors but to bivectors quantities with magnitude and orientations associated with particular 2D planes rather than 1D directions. The relation to complex numbers becomes clearer, too, in 2D, with two vector directions σ1 and σ2, there is only one bivector basis element σ1 σ2, so only one imaginary. But in 3D, with three vector directions, there are three bivector basis elements σ1 σ2, σ2 σ3, σ3 σ1, so three imaginaries. This reasoning extends further. 
In the Clifford algebra C4, 0, R, there are six bivector basis elements, since with four different basic vector directions, six different pairs and therefore six different linearly independent planes can be defined. Rotations in such spaces using these generalizations of quaternions, called rotors, can be very useful for applications involving homogeneous coordinates. But it is only in 3D that the number of basis bivectors equals the number of basis vectors, and each bivector can be identified as a pseudovector. There are several advantages for placing quaternions in this wider setting. Rotors are a natural part of geometric algebra and easily understood as the encoding of a double reflection. In geometric algebra, a rotor and the objects it acts on live in the same space. This eliminates the need to change representations and to encode new data structures and methods, which is traditionally required when augmenting linear algebra with quaternions. Rotors are universally applicable to any element of the algebra, not just vectors and other quaternions, but also lines, planes, circles, spheres, rays, and so on. In the conformal model of Euclidean geometry, rotors allow the encoding of rotation, translation and scaling in a single element of the algebra, universally acting on any element. In particular, this means that rotors can represent rotations around an arbitrary axis, whereas quaternions are limited to an axis through the origin. Rotor-encoded transformations make interpolation particularly straightforward. For further detail about the geometrical uses of Clifford algebras, see geometric algebra. Topic: <laughs> Brouwer group. The quaternions are essentially the only non-trivial central simple algebra CSA over the real numbers, in the sense that every CSA over the reals is Brouwer equivalent to either the reals or the quaternions. Explicitly, the Brouwer group of the reals consists of two classes, represented by the reals and the quaternions, where the Brouwer group is the set of all CSAs, up to equivalence relation of one CSA being a matrix ring over another. By the Artin Wedderburn theorem, specifically, Wedderburn's part, CSAs are all matrix algebras over a division algebra, and thus the quaternions are the only non trivial division algebra over the reals. CSAs, rings over a field, which are simple algebras have no non-trivial two-sided ideals, just as with fields whose center is exactly the field, are a non-commutative analog of extension fields, and are more restrictive than general ring extensions. The fact that the quaternions are the only non-trivial CSA over the reals up to equivalence may be compared with the fact that the complex numbers are the only non-trivial field extension of the reals. Topic: <laughs> Quotations I regard it as an inelegance, or imperfection, in quaternions, or rather in the state to which it has been hitherto unfolded, whenever it becomes or seems to become necessary to have recourse to x, y, z, etc. William Rowan Hamilton, quoted in a letter from Tate to Cayley. 
Time is said to have only one dimension, and space to have three dimensions. The mathematical quaternion partakes of both these elements. In technical language, it may be said to be time plus space, or space plus time. And in this sense it has, or at least involves a reference to, four dimensions. And how the one of time, of space the three, might in the chain of symbols girdled be." William Rowan Hamilton quoted in R. P. Graves, Life of Sir William Rowan Hamilton. Quaternions came from Hamilton after his really good work had been done, and, though beautifully ingenious, have been an unmixed evil to those who have touched them in any way, including Clark Maxwell. W. Thompson, Lord Kelvin. 1892. I came later to see that, as far as the vector analysis I required was concerned, the quaternion was not only not required, but was a positive evil of no inconsiderable magnitude, and that by its avoidance the establishment of vector analysis was made quite simple and its working also simplified, and that it could be conveniently harmonized with ordinary Cartesian work." Oliver Heaviside 1893. Electromagnetic Theory Vol. 1, pp. 134–135. London, The Electrician Printing and Publishing Company. Neither matrices nor quaternions and ordinary vectors were banished from these ten additional chapters. For, in spite of the uncontested power of the modern tensor calculus, those older mathematical languages continue, in my opinion, to offer conspicuous advantages in the restricted field of special relativity. Moreover, in science as well as in everyday life, the mastery of more than one language is also precious, as it broadens our views, is conducive to criticism with regard to, and guards against hypostasy weak foundation of, the matter expressed by words or mathematical symbols. Ludwig Silberstein 1924. Notes on preparing the second edition of his Theory of Relativity. Quaternions appear to exude an air of 19th century decay, as a rather unsuccessful species in the struggle for life of mathematical ideas. Mathematicians, admittedly, still keep a warm place in their hearts for the remarkable algebraic properties of quaternions but, alas, such enthusiasm means little to the harder-headed physical scientist." Simon L. Altman. 1986. See also equals equals notes. <laughs>